orientation on Sunday or, or Monday we were told that you know this is 10 years of work that we're doing in two months and hearing that you really feel proud and you really feel quite astounded at how much we're doing collectively and it can't just be a one person one program job collectively working together is probably the most you can get as far as impact The Escalante River watershed is unique in many respects. It is, uh, the Escalante River was one of the last rivers discovered in the U.S. It's roughly 100 miles long and it's almost entirely public land. Exotic plants have moved in uh, in the last 20 to 30 years in this watershed, primarily Russian olive, and that's a lot of our work now is to try to get that out because it can outcompete the native species. Russian olive trees were introduced into the United States after the Dust Bowl era of the 1930s to control soil erosion. Russian olive removal began in the year 2000 with only a few dedicated individuals and volunteers. The Escalante River Watershed Partnership was formed in 2009 for the benefit of the watershed's health. The partnership currently consists of federal agencies, state agencies, nonprofit organizations, private organizations, and private landowners. I'm here with the Canyon Country Youth Corps out of Monticello, Utah, the Utah Conservation Corps out of Logan and Salt Lake City, Utah, as well as the Coconino Rural Environment Corps out of Flagstaff, Arizona. These corps are here working with the Escalante River Watershed Partnership to remove invasives throughout the watershed as part of a multi-year project. We're in year two here of training with the Escalante River Watershed Partnership. The training is really comprehensive. It's two weeks in the field learning how to use chainsaws, learning how to safely apply herbicide. We've got a host of educational components that are really important to this project. Leave no trace in the backcountry. Safety workshops, how to horse pack and pack your gear, plant identification, riparian ecology, issues with invasive species such as Russian olive. The Conservation and Youth Corps are really where we see the intersection of the conservation and ecologic goals of this partnership and the social goals that it also supports. CCYC of the Canyon Country Youth Corps is an opportunity for first experiences and for learning and personal enrichment. For me, this is my first time camping outdoors, my first time in the Southwest, and also my first time working with a chainsaw. It's an invaluable experience, it helps you grow, and prepare you also for the workforce. I've been going to school in Idaho and coming down here for an internship in recreation management. Uh, I look forward to being able to network with the people here in land management and natural resources and to learn more about how to take care of our environment so I can be able to have a, a good job in conservation and recreation management in the future. We've been putting people on the ground out here cutting Russian olive for over three years now. One of the great things about it is we have people that come back year after year. And those folks can uh, move up from, from members to leaders to our field coordinators, and it's really allowed them to uh, pass the knowledge along, their skills along, to the new members in the field through formalized trainings, as well as just teachable moments. My name's Hannah Ryan, I'm a crew leader for CCYC, and this is my second year in Escalante. My name is Sam Keller, I'm a crew leader for CCYC, and this is my second year here on the Mighty Escalante. Hey everybody, my name is Ryan, I work for CREC, I'm one of their woods bosses, this is my fourth season on the Escalante. My name is Cassidy, I'm the operations assistant for CREC, this is my second season on the Escalante. Hi, my name is Elena, I'm a crew leader for Utah Conservation Corps, and this is my second season in Escalante. Hi, I'm Trace, I'm a crew leader with CCYC. And I'm Molly, and I'm a crew leader with CCYC too, and this is our second season together on the Escalante project. I'm Shane Thone. I'm Mari Elementon, and we are the individual placements working with the BLM. And we've been working on this project for two years. Welcome everyone. What a great day. And the end of a long training week, huh? Maybe even two weeks for those of you. Grand Staircase really is a remarkably diverse area in many ways, both ecologically, geologically, and paleontologically. And um, I think the uh, youth 
have a great opportunity to come up and work in such a remarkable, special place. This investment by the foundation is extremely valuable because this is the next wave of future conservationists. There is no better investment that the government can make than investing in America's youth. It actually engages the kids and it teaches them hard work and it connects them with the outdoors. When you leave Escalante, I want you to stop and think about what you've learned here, what a place this is, and then I want you to come back. I want you to come back in numbers. I want you to bring your families and you can bring them back here and say, this is what I've had a part of. I want you to know I love Escalante. I am passionate about Escalante. I'm grateful that you are here doing what you are doing because it's making us better. And finally, look out, Russian Olive. We're sending 80 trained SWAT crews to get you. <laughs>